Hey guys, it's Monday morning and I'm sitting outside on my front porch enjoying a breakfast smoothie. Um, it's kind of chilly out here. It's feeling very fallish to me this morning. Um, I almost feel like I need long sleeves on and a little blanket out here. Um, I wanted to show you guys our little front porch area. I kind of cleaned it up this weekend because Dean took a bunch of stuff to the dump after we finished up some projects. He loaded up his truck. Um, and we kind of cleaned up the yard and he's been working a lot on the porch. So there were like little bits of wood. He worked um, this weekend on the fireplace in the house. And so there were bits of like hardy backer, I think is what it's called and sheetrock and just all kinds of stuff. So we need to take it to the dump. So I cleaned up this area. So I don't know if you guys can see, I got these two old antique chairs that I bought, oh my goodness, ages ago for our other house. And I had them up front and put some pillows on them. And then over here, I bought these mums at a local grocery store. Um, they were, I think, $4 each. And they're just kind of small, but they're fall colored and they look nice right there. And I pulled out an old antique box and a table and stuck them there. Um, I cleaned up Rosie's bed and her little water bowl is right here. Um, moved some of the little rugs around. Anyway, I stuck um, a little fall looking thing on the door, even though that door is quite ugly <laughs> but it still looks fallish eventually the plan is to change that door I would really like to replace it now but we have so many other projects that we've been working on we haven't gotten to anything exterior I you know like I don't even know when we're gonna get to it but the plan is to eventually replace all of this siding with um, I think it's called hardy board it's like a concrete type board siding. We've done that on all of our houses. The first house we ever built, we had that put on it. When we resided our last house, the house on the mountain, it was um, like this vinyl siding and we redid it in hardy board and painted it and loved it. And so we will probably do that here too. Um, I would like the siding on the house to be like a cream color. We have brown brick and I just really like earth tone colors and I want to take the roof, which I don't think you can see it right now, but the roof is like a green metal and it's it's still got probably 10 years left, but it's just faded and um, I don't know, it just needs to be replaced and I'll probably do like a brown shingled roof or something like that um, because I want this house to have sort of like this old cottage feel to it. Um, so the doors, the front door and there's a door on the other side the back door will eventually be replaced I kind of thought about doing it now but since we have so many fall projects it's just not really one of those things that we have to do right now I really should take it down and paint it because it's like this hunter green I'm not sure if you guys can see it and like the trim around the two windows are different colors like one's yellow and one's white I don't know why I don't know how that happened I don't know but this door was here and it looks rough so I either need to take it down and paint it and maybe I'll try painting it a color um, like a nice gold or orange or red or maybe navy I don't know I don't know yet eventually when we get the siding around the house changed I want um, a wooden door with a glass uh, front in it like a little glass window and we will either stain it if I'm feeling brave, I may paint it a color because I really like houses with like a pop of color on their door. Like I think that looks nice, but I've always been kind of scared to like commit to a color. Um, and I tend to like like earthy tones. So like just staining it a dark wood color is a safe bet. <laughs> I don't know. So we'll see what I end up doing. Maybe since I can take a risk with this door, I should find like a color and paint it and just see what it looks like and see how much I like it. And if I don't like it, when we get the actual door that will be on the house, like the wooden door that'll be there forever, um, then I'll just stain that one, I guess. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hello for the day. Um, I'm sitting out here. I've had my coffee. I've done my morning journaling, my devotion. I got a workout in this morning. I got my shower in. I'm dressed for the day. I'm just sitting outside having my smoothie. I'm having a, a Kai twist. These are um, little like smoothie, it's like a smoothie bowl, but it's like in a cup. Um, and it's from Revive Superfoods. They have um, these boxes that they send you. And I think it's like got 12 smoothies. They're all different flavors. This is a Kai twist. Um, 
They're gluten-free, no sugar added, plant-based, dairy-free. I put almond milk in mine. You just blend it up in your blender. Um, and I actually added a date or two to sweeten mine a little bit. Um, they are so good and they're so convenient and they make breakfast really easy. So like if I, I have a really simple breakfast smoothie recipe that I uh, make, but these are just, these kind of vary things up and I don't have to buy a ton of smoothie ingredients and I just really like them. Um, they also have super oat things. So when I finish up my smoothies here soon, I'm going to, the next box that I get will be the oats because, you know, fall and winter's coming up and I want warmer breakfast during that time of the year. So I'll try the oats. They also have meals. So they've got like, uh, like a little cup and it has like, a, um, an individual single healthy meal inside of it. And you can order boxes with those as well. Um, I do have a discount code and I'll stick that in the description box below. So if you go to their website, which I will link below as well, and you put in growing up herbal 55 in the coupon code or discount code box, you'll get 55% off your first box, which is a really good deal. And these are so nice. Um, I would encourage you to try them if you want to simplify your meal planning or you want to try to eat healthier or you just need like a quick breakfast or quick lunch on the go if you're going to work or something like that. They, um, I've been really impressed with them. I really like them. So yeah, use that coupon code, get 55% off your first box. Try it, see what you guys think. Um, I love them. Like I said, I haven't tried the oats, the oat uh, breakfast yet, but I'm gonna try those next. Um, really like the smoothies. Anyway, so sitting out here, just listening to the people across the road work. It's really loud, it's kind of annoying. I miss the mountain and how quiet it was, but there's definitely some pros that this house and this property have that the mountain didn't have. I'm trying to remember that all mornings when I'm trying to sit out here and I hear all of these people working and people on the road driving by. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all of the blessings um, and there are plenty. Um, and then I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. So it's Monday and that's our, we don't have school on Monday. Um, the boys will have a little bit of um, like extra schoolwork. They'll start their math lesson and do their math page. Um, and they'll have the first of their spelling like worksheets that they're gonna do today, but that's all we do on Mondays. I am going to work on uploading some of last week's videos and getting those, you know, ready to go. And I do have to make a grocery uh, list and a meal plan for two weeks today because I'm going to Aldi's tonight. I was supposed to do that on Saturday, but we stayed home and I just cleaned all day Saturday. I mean, we washed walls, we cleaned the bathrooms really well. Um, what else did I do? We cleaned the cabinets. Um, I swept and mopped the ho whole house. So I don't know, I guess I was just kind of in this like, oh, it's almost fall, it's a transition. I need to like really clean the house. I don't know why seasonal transitions make me feel like I really need to clean the house really well, but. I was going with it and so I did that on Saturday so I did not go to the grocery store Saturday night and then um, yesterday I was gonna go but then I decided I would just get some videos done that I wanted to work on some apothecary fall apothecary video kind of thing that I want to put up soon um, so I did that last night and then Dean has the boys at piano tonight so I thought I'll just go to the grocery store tonight and I'll do my little Aldi haul video for you guys then um, so yeah, it's normally Saturday. It's gonna be Monday this week because that's what worked out and that's what I feel like doing. So I need to decide if there's anything else I'm gonna get done today besides all this video stuff and meal planning grocery list and then this little bit of the boys' school. Maybe some cleaning, we'll see. I don't know, we'll see where the day goes. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good Monday and I will talk to you later. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and today I thought I would head out to one of my little garden beds and do some pruning um, and harvest any of the dried flower buds that have seeds ready in them and I will put them in a little printable seed pack and save them for next year. And this will be just for my annuals only so I wanted to take you guys with me and show you what I got up to in the gardens today. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that some of the flower heads have dried up and they're black. Um, this right here, these are my Cosmos. 
and these are ready to pull the seed heads off. And when you open them up, all of the little seeds are in there. You just kind of rub them with your hand. Oops. See, and there are all kinds of little seeds. Now, you can just kind of sprinkle those, and they will fall to the ground, and maybe they'll survive winter and grow back next year. Um, you can also just leave them, and a lot of times during the winter, they will fall down and self-seed for the next year, or you can break them off, take them inside, crumble them up, and put them in little seed packets that you can save for the following year. So that is what I'm doing, taking all of these off and saving them for next year. Now, let's see, some of them, like this one, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's still kind of green right there, so it's not ready to come off. The seeds are green inside of there, they're not fully dried and formed. This one is definitely not ready, it just needs to sit a little longer. But this one is like totally black and it's ready to go. And you can tell because they're really dried and crunchy and they come off really easily. And if you just squeeze them, then they break right open and there are a bunch of seeds inside. So I'm gonna take these inside after I collect a few more and I am going to put the seeds that are inside in little printable seed packets. Okay, so I just finished up crumbling up all of the different seed heads for my Cosmos and Zinnias and I found these super cute little printable seed packets online. Um, cannot remember the name of the blog, but I will look it up and I will put the link to the blog post with these seed packets in the description of this video below. You can print these off. They are two to a page. Um, cut them out. I just taped up the back. You can glue them if you want, but tape I feel like would hold better and not come apart. Sometimes glue will come apart. Anyway, I got two packets of the White Cosmos and then I got um, three little packets of the cream zinnias um, that are out in my garden. These are flowers that I will sow other places next year. Um, if some of them self seed over the winter, then that's great in the spot that they're in. But I wanted to collect some of the dried seed just so that I had enough to put in new gardens next year. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention was that at the beginning of this year, in spring, I bought one packet of the White Cosmos and one packet of the Cream Zinnias, and I've only harvested once, and I've got a ton more seed than I originally bought. So it's really a good way to save a lot of money and expand your gardens by harvesting your seeds from your annual plants and spreading those out. You can also do that with perennials if they, um, grow you can kind of sometimes cut them in half when they kind of grow babies off the sides or the root system grows so big i know hostas you can do that with really easily and there are other plants as well but this year with our house being new none of our perennials are big enough to do that yet but the annuals were ready and so i wanted to harvest those seeds and get them ready for planting next spring hopefully i will be able to have larger garden beds for cut flowers and next spring um i think the only annuals that i got this year for flower for cut flower wise were these um white and cream colored flowers um i have some yellow roses over there as well but next year i would like to get a bunch of different colored um flower varieties that are great for um cutting and bringing in the house and making little indoor flower arrangements so i'm gonna save these from this year I'm gonna plant them next year and I'm gonna add to it and see what we come up with. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Hope that was helpful. I actually wrote a blog post about um, saving the seed and I have the link to these little printable packets there and a little bit more information over on the blog if you wanna check that out. So either way, I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Dead eye over here. That is? Are that you shooting? Dez has hit three. <laughs> Why Another. Isaiah said that one about four times and got knocked over. Oh, somebody got it. Mama, I think the smallest one is Did you? I ate the hardest one twice. Oh, are we still firing? This is what we're doing on a rainy Thursday evening, huh, Ez? Hello? When it was my book, I got to shoot that cardboard. Uh -huh. That's an interesting way you're holding that gun. Are you using daddy's shoulder for support? I hit it! It's me! I'd rather shoot that. Yeah, I hit it! So I came back up! I saw that crazy.
We got another target to take out. Hey guys, it's Monday and I wanted to come on here and wrap up last week's vlog. Um, I also wanted to tell you that I'm very sorry that this week's vlog is short. I actually recorded quite a bit more um, footage when I was in the car on Saturday going um, out of town to get some stuff for Dean for our patio area. and. I must have had a window down in the car because it is super windy and noisy and it's just not even worth putting up because they're like little like blurps of wind all through the video and it was really long and I was talking about house projects and you may not want to hear that anyway so anyhow I am very sorry that this week's vlog is short I actually thought maybe I wouldn't put it up and I would just post something else instead but then I thought I wanted to share the seed saving with you guys and um, a little about, you know, our getting ready for fall around our house and some projects and whatnot. So before I wrap this video up, let me flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what Dean worked on this weekend for the patio. Um, we got some new rock for the fire pit area and the back wall because we didn't have enough um, of our original color. We had, to, we had to buy new rock and it didn't, I guess it was like a different lot number or something and the colors didn't match up so all of the fire pit rock that we had before was like a red color and we're just gonna save that for a different project like maybe a fire pit somewhere else or we'll use it as a border and we ordered new rock that matches it actually matches the pavers that are down a little bit better and so I'm gonna flip you around and show you that because he's worked on it um, all weekend gluing it up and the last thing we have to do after he finishes just another um, just another little bit on the wall over here I'll show you um, is to put the sand in which glues all of the papers together so let me flip you around and show you that real quick okay so as you can see he has got all of the pavers cut around the fire pit area and we I went to um, Lowe's on Saturday and I got some more lava rock I don't know yeah I, guess, I think you guys can see the color so the black will fill up all the way around the fire pit and it'll cover this bottom row right here and then these blocks that he has laying out around here will be the top layer. They'll go on, he'll glue those on and lift the, the fire pit ring thing up a little bit more. And then it'll be filled with black lava rock all the way around. He's gotta glue in these little ones that are kind of like sitting down. He has to put some sand under there and level all of that stuff. But um, this is almost done. And then this is our back wall. Um, you can see he's cut the rock on the side over here to make it kind of flat and he just has the top row to do it goes up four rows and then there will be a wooden piece that goes all the way across the top to sit on and on each side so on this side and then on that side there'll be like rectangle wooden boxes and we'll have chopped wood in those boxes for the fire pit and that friends will be the end of this project <laughs> um, so anyway, we will get our chairs out, get those put together and put around the fire pit and hopefully have some fall get togethers out here once this is all finished. We're getting there. I think maybe Tuesday he'll finish this part up. Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll see. Okay, so like I said, I'm just jumping on here to wrap up this weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye.